got a, are we filming? Yes, we're filming. So we got Benjamin on camera. Remember Will? From William. William? His favorite son. <laughs> Debatable. Debatable. <laughs> and we got uh, Emily there too. Give a shout to Emily. Hello. <laughs> That's cousin Emily. She's the, uh, she's a little sweetheart. She's the director. So she's here to tell us what? What are you here to tell us? I am here to supervise in the kitchen and behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> tell us what we're doing wrong, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're feeding an army tonight, right? Yeah, we got. How many we got? 13. 13 now. 13. Half of which are boys that are hungry, right, Ben? Mary. Yeah, right. So I'm getting hungry myself. I'm always hungry, right? Yes. Yeah, so we got, what we're going to do is a special, like, pre-Christmas uh, meal here, because Nathan heads out tomorrow. Robert's uh, girlfriend Steph heads out tomorrow too, so we're gonna have a nice meal tonight. What are we having, Emily? We are having some rib roast. Rib roast. So we went to Costco. Mm -hmm. I went to Costco. Me and your mama went to Costco. The rap she was sleeping. He was sleeping. And went and got a couple of rib roasts. So we got. I've got an 11 pound. This is a bone in rib roast. All right. So I've got an 11 pound one. Will's got a nine pound. Right, so we're gonna season them differently on the outside, right? So, found a recipe, super easy. The menu and directions are down below. Look down there, and uh, and you'll see, and we'll uh, get cracking. So, you, so we've got you've got uh, basically a block of carry unsalted butter. Yep, carry unsalted butter. Uh, we have some herbs de Provence, as well as some uh, whole pepper kernels that we ground up. Uh, rough ground in there as well as uh, we already put on some salt to begin with just to draw out some of that moisture and then we're going to uh, let that sit for a little bit uh, which we already did we already did we, we will pat it down with paper towel try and get some of that extra moisture yeah. off. so just tap tap the get some of the moisture off and tap it out now you want to fat you've got to cook this fat side up bone side down and one of the things too is to, to be careful so you see all the fat on here but that's good I mean this is a good cut of meat nice cut of meat and we want it to be real nice so this is going to cut up nicely into prime rib later on tonight when it's done so our cooking technique and give us those juices for the au jus the au jus or au jus, au jus. Au jus. Au jus. Au jus. Au jus. yeah you know i had a, a guy at the citadel upperclassman he asked me what was for dinner i say roast beef au jus and uh he corrected me he said no it's au jus, au jus. so Get some correction here, with Emily. I just made sure he wasn't covering the speaker. Oh, okay. All right, good. <laughs> oh, we go, we go, we still go. Let's see, how much are we paying you, Emily? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> no, uh, zero. <laughs> blank, <laughs> blank check. <laughs> so okay, so you're doing. So we're gonna do two two different rubs on here. So we got melted butter. Uh, like Will said, you've got uh, two tablespoons of uh, uh, black pepper and three, what did we say, three teaspoons of herb de Provence, right? Or two, two teaspoons of herb Two de teaspoons of herb de Provence. I've got, what I've got is uh, three tablespoons of black pepper, and I've got three teaspoons of rosemary is what I'm using here. So uh, I'm gonna, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put that in the, in the butter, and we just gotta mix that in to the softened butter, All right? And we're gonna use this to rub it down. Rub the meat down. It's been just plenty salted. Don't worry about it. You kinda of want the outside extra salty. I, I, so, cook these a couple times before. And this technique is pretty simple. Put it in butter. I'm preheating the oven right now up to 500 degrees. 500 Fahrenheit. 500. Five zero zero. Five zero zero, right? Two of those numbers are what I'm paying you. Zero zero, right? Yeah. So, zero. so we're gonna, so we're gonna, what, we're gonna mix this all up, and we're gonna coat. We're gonna wipe down the. How, how, got like a soup there. It was already. Very it's, soft. Oh, it's a little rough. It's very soft, right? So, what we're gonna do is just is just scatter this all around the, the roast, and once it's covered, it's gonna go in the oven. So what we're doing? I'm gonna take the the pounds of the meat. Okay, so nine pounds multiplied times five, that gives 45 minutes. So it's gonna cook 45 minutes at 500 degrees. You following my math, Emily? Mm -hmm. Check my math, make sure it's working. Nine yeah. times five, 45. 45 at 500 degrees, 
and you go, boop, turn the oven off. Okay? It's, now the trick here. It doesn't make that sound effect otherwise. It, it, well, it yeah. does make that sound effect. It does. It does. Right? <laughs> so this is 11 pound times 555. So this is going to cook 55 minutes, 500, then just turn the oven off. Boop. <laughs> and then you, and then you leave it alone. For that and, you, you leave it, <laughs> and you leave it alone for, for two hours. You don't open the door, you don't check it, just leave it alone, and it's gonna, it should come out medium rare. Now, now I know you don't like medium rare. No. Is that right? Emily does. I love well done. How about you, Benjamin? You like, you like medium rare. Rarer it is, it's better. Yeah, that's my boy. How about medium you? Medium rare. Good boy. All right, so, um, but you don't. So, we're actually going to put these in together, so this should cook a little more, okay? But otherwise, we're going to have a pot of au jus standing by, and we'll cut your piece, and we'll put it in there, and we'll eat it up. So Excellent. that's a later video, so we'll talk, okay? So let's get this. Go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and cook this over. So just slather it on the butter. So the, the butter, it's going to mix with the, the fats coming off the meat. And, of course, you got some good marbling here. See the marbling on the side there? So again, this is, uh, this is basically prime rib like you get in the restaurants and a big block on it so and you know like i said I, I read an article they were talking about it saying look some people cut the excess fat off it's kind of like well look you're 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 probably paying a good penny for for this for this meat and the fat gives it the flavor so at least cook it with the fat on exactly yeah yeah if you want to cut it off later yeah good point good point cook it with the fat on because the fat's going to cook off okay and uh, it'll cook off, and uh, and it's gonna get down to the bottom of the pan here, and we're gonna use that to mix with a little bit of flour to make our au jus later, or au jus. Au jus. Au jus. Dude had the audacity to correct the guy studying French in college. Yeah. Au jus. Yeah, that's what I was like. Now, of course, I didn't say anything to him because he was an upperclassman. And I'm like, well, oh, I don't want to get yelled at. So I'm like, oh, yes, sir. Oh, Oh, joie. <laughs> Does it matter, like, do you just want it to kind of be generally even around the... Ribbon? Well, as soon as you put it in that 500 degrees, man, it's going to it's gonna melt and, and, and base down. It's, it's kind of self-basting here. It's going to cook the fat out as, the, as it heats up, the fat renders, and, it, and it's going to come down through the meat and around the meat, and it's kind of self-basting, so... I know you you don't uh, like fat, do you, Emily? I don't like it. I always cut it off. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a, cut it off, but you want to cook it with it. it? Yeah, that gives it flavor. Mmm, there you go. So, Will, you're all done with helicopter training now, right? You all done, yep. Go to my fleet squadron here next month. Yep. Go to my first deployment. How we doing, Ben? It's looking good. It's looking good. Now the underneath is the the uh, the bones, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna get the sides and the top here. That's what I'm doing. You hear that? You hear all the hubbub in the house? Got the, it's kind of what it's like when you got 13 people in the house, right? You got a little baby over there. He's being that's little Henry, right? Oh yeah. Sarah's little baby. Just sleeps all day. <laughs> he does. He's a good little boy. Sweet little boy. Maybe we can get, maybe Sarah will let us yeah. <laughs> show him on camera and think. Okay? How's that looking? Good. All done. <laughs> I didn't eat anything. Did you, uh, did you lick that spoon? I did not. I wish I did. <laughs> all right. So, in the oven, uh, just about there, It's we're going to put it in for five, uh, 500 degrees for 55 minutes. All right? And put that in with it. And then at 55 minutes, boop, and then off it goes. All right. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and do that now, and uh, we'll check back later. Hello, everyone. If you're wondering why I suddenly got a lot hand more handsome, it's because I'm Benjamin, not William. So, <laughs> William's behind camera now. <clears throat> Didn't want to distract you guys too much, so that's why I'm back here. Oh, our alarm's off. I put it out single-handedly. I'm a hero, so uh, not. not only saving lives on the water, but also saving lives on land. So, you ready to continue? <laughs> <clears throat> so, give us 
start it up? What? No. I'm, how much do you want me so to save this channel? Say, this is take three. Take three. So we did, we had the fire alarm went off. Then we then had the a phone timer, call. The yeah, timer the went timer. off. So 55 minutes, I just turned the oven off on the on the uh, Rivero. So yeah, we missed it, but it went boop. Right. So now it's it's two hours from right now. So it's 424. So two hours from now, 624, it should be done. Right. So what we're going to work on now is the horseradish sauce. Yes. And Benjamin, this is the this handsome young fellow right here who's in dire need of a shave. Is it gonna help me out? Not really. No, you gotta let it go. Okay. All you're right. Just, so. You're just jealous of what I got. Um, How can I be jealous? My Benjamin, God, I see is, his this face. Is, this is two <laughs> weeks. This is two weeks, and it's already more glorious. Not even two weeks, actually. <laughs> okay. Boy, this is a man beard. It's not a boy beard. Got like gaps in there and stuff. <laughs> right. This is from where the uh, shark bit me. That's when right. I was that right? Yeah. When, you when I was up in Alaska. Yeah. 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 Is that what you tell the girls? Yeah. And then on this side is the bear that bit me, that scratched that right? me. Yeah. I was saving a puppy while I was uh, <laughs> when that bear attacked me, so Oh, oh man. Whoa, I gotta wear my boots in here. It's getting a little deep. Getting a little chill. Yeah. All right. All right, what we got going? We got uh we got some horseradish. Can you read my notes? No. No, okay, so I'm gonna have to translate for you. So we've got here is ten uh, tablespoons of horseradish, right? Correct. Smells like it. Get the whips. Good. Yeah. That'll clear your sinuses out. So, ten tablespoons of horseradish. What we're we gonna put in now? We need one cup of sour cream, which eight ounces equates to one cup. So, why don't you put that in there? Get that. Is this smoke. one cup? This says eight ounces. That would and that be means one, one cup. cup, right? So, put that in there. So, this is gonna go with the prime rib, right? I love horseradish. Don't you love horseradish? I love horseradish. Yeah, that's good. So, this is homemade. You can buy the stuff and. Uh, you could buy the stuff, uh, you know, from the store, but I think home homemade tastes a lot better, fresher too. And it'll keep for keep in the refrigerator. It'll keep for you know a couple of weeks anyway. So okay, so get all of that, all that goodness. All right. Now I want to go with uh, four teaspoons of uh, Dijon mustard. All right. So that's four teaspoons. So that's a half a teaspoon. So we need eight of these of Dijon mustard. All right. All right. So go to town. While he's doing that, I've got four tablespoons of chives. I've chopped them up already. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here. Yeah. Got some, got jailbreak here. Some of them got out. You need those. Two. You do need those, every one of these. So the rib roast is in there now. We'll come around here, look in there real quick. So we just turned it off. See, can you see in there at all? What's that look like? See the rib roast in there? Can't see it can very see it's well. It's in there bubbling. Of course, the fat and the butter and all that. Now, just you just turn it off now, and, and you don't open it anymore. And it's two hours now. We're gonna we got the timer going. What we say, four twenty-four. So two hours from that. Okay. How many does that make? Five. Five. And what did I say? Eight. You said eight. All right. So I'll just get this fresh one here. Do you have any great poop poop in there. All right. Six. I like and to put poop on my horseradish sauce. Four tablespoons of mayonnaise. And this is the greatest of all mayonnaises, Dukes. Did you know that, William? I don't like Wouldn't mayonnaise. Wouldn't the king so be better? What? Wouldn't king's mayo be better? Since, you know, no. Kings are higher than dukes. No, dukes. Dukes is the best. One. Two. Benjamin three. knows all about kings because his brother is one. He's just a duke. <laughs> Man. He likes to think so. He's, yeah. he's merely a puppet. Yeah, I've missed you guys being around and the constant, like, bashing on each other and all. That's just so fun to watch. And this is why your mom and I just ride in the car and listen to you guys go at it all the time. Right, William? Everything's fun when people know the hierarchy in the family. What do you, what do you, what do you rank in the hierarchy? They like to think I'm towards the bottom, but uh, we all know the truth. You <laughs> are. He is. We all know who the best son is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's mix that up. What do we got? Grab that spoon there. Let's mix all that. All right. So that's four tablespoons of chives, four tablespoons of mayonnaise, four teaspoons of Dijon mustard, ten tablespoons of horseradish, and one cup of sour cream. And all that's going to go together. We're going to mix that together, and there's our horseradish sauce. It's going to go 
as an option. You either can go with au jus or you can go with the horseradish sauce. How does that look? Yeah, that's some good camera work there, Will. Look at that. I'm stirring by my son, by my... I'm getting paid on like Emily. Son number three. See, I got called son, but he just called, called William. Now, you prefer Will? You could say that, you know, we're on a first name basis. You're just a boy to him. Will, you got you got your wife's, your beautiful brides coming in, Morgan, who uh, star of the chicken nugget video, right? Right. She's coming in. She is she excited? She gonna cook some with me? I don't know. You'd have to ask for yourself. All right. Just set it on that list. This time you can cook chicken tenders, right? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So horseradish made. Uh, we got we're gonna rib take the rib roast there. Well, from the rib roast, we'll make some au jus. Yes. And um, uh, and then uh, we've got potatoes going as well. So we're gonna have some garlic potatoes. And the ravishing Mrs. Ritter is gonna make some. Uh, your mama is gonna make some uh, green bean casserole. So excellent. That, so we'll, we'll have to see that as a finished product. Yes. Still camera shy. Right. Okay. So we'll be right back. All right, so come out of the oven. It was in there for 55 minutes. That was driving it for the big roast here. And and then we turned it off and see it's a nice medium rare. See the outside there in the middle there? It's a nice medium rare cut. So this is the uh, the big one here. This is the uh, rosemary one. And let's check out the uh, smaller one. This is the nine pounder here. Let's check this one out, see how this one looks. Yeah, look at that, nice medium rare. Liking that technique, worked out real nice. So, anyway, we're gonna fire this up, try this out. Actually, I'm gonna try me a little piece right now. See how this is. Got tested out, you know. Right? Uh huh. <laughs> Emily? I'll be eating the doing? well done edges. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm mm mm. That is tasty. Good. You gonna have this with the au jus? We made up using some of the drippings and we got the horseradish in there with it well it's gonna be good i'm looking forward you ready to get eaten emily i'm ready all right all right <laughs> we'll see you next time